for the government to tell the public what it might know about UFOs and anything else extraterrestrial. This would be part of the annual defense policy bill, and both sides of the aisle actually appear to agree here. Our Tom Dempsey is live in Washington. Uh, Tom, good morning. What's the latest here? Hey, good morning, Marky. Yeah, this morning, uh, Senator Chuck Schumer from New York has made it clear that he wants to get answers when it comes to what are known as unidentified aerial phenomena and possible alien life. And he's put forward this amendment that would uh, set up a commission that could declassify information about UFOs. And not only that, it's supposed to get uh, the support from both Republicans and Democrats. This commission would be modeled after the same one that was able to get information released about the JFK assessment assassination. According to the New York Times, uh, this amendment would offer a 300-day deadline for government agencies to organize and provide all records relating to unidentified aerial phenomena to re a review board. President Biden would appoint nine people to the board and could delay any document releases if doing so raises national security concerns. Podcast host and filmmaker Jeremy Corbell spoke to News Nation's Dan Abrams about the announcement. It's a huge deal. It's a bipartisan measure to force the release of UFO records. And we're, we're really living in a different time. As Representative Burchett said, we are over the target when it comes to this issue. And, and that is why we are seeing pushback. Now, it's important to note this amendment all comes as News Nation has also exclusively reported about longtime Air Force veteran David Grush claiming the government has recovered non human spacecraft of exotic origin that either landed or crashed on Earth. Grush went on to claim the government has covered up evidence of the UFOs being extra extraterrestrial, that he has seen evidence of a secret crash retrieval program. The Air Force veteran even alleged that the U.S. has retrieved bodies of other species. Grush recently filed an official whistleblower complaint saying he gave what he referred to as classified proof to Congress. I am for real. And I'm, you know, I'm sitting here at great personal risk and obvious professional risk by talking to you today. We're definitely not alone. Absolutely, the data points empirically that we're not alone, yeah. Now, the Pentagon has denied any claims that it has information about a crash retrieval program. Also, uh, when it comes to Capitol Hill, the House actually passed a uh, similar amendment to Chuck Schumer's, a narrower version that uh, calls for the Pentagon to release documents related to unidentified aerial phenomena. Certainly an interesting story here on Capitol Hill, guys. Interesting is one way to describe it. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.